And we're back with some more Pokemon White. Last time we got our sixth gym badge. This part we're going to get the HM Surf. And in the process, we are also going to get our final party member, which, who is going to basically be our new go to for the rest of the game. You don't have anything to say? God damn it. Already at Route 7. Can't get far that far all by yourself, you know? I mean, I have a snake who's been with me since the beginning of this journey. God damn it. Son of a mick. Son of a mick bitch. So yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the weather effect, I think I mentioned this in the last part. Uh, rain basically decreases the effectiveness of fire type moves, but does increase the the effectiveness of water type moves since we don't have a water type or a fire type that can take advantage of that yeah so a little bit of trivia off screen I tried going here here before fighting uh, Skyla like to see if I could get the surf early turns out you can't <sighs> This is why I prefer Black 2 and White 2, because you can actually get er, get Surf earlier, meaning you get a Dragon-type sooner. Since we both hold the Jet Badge now, let's see which of us is stronger. Alright, we're fighting Charon. Alright, starting off with <laughs> Unpheasant. Oh, you poor bastard. He has zero clue. Air Slash. Jesus H. Christ. Hmm. You think Sky can handle him? I think Sky can handle it. Quick attack. Get a drain. Get fucked. There goes Unpheasant. He's gonna send out Pig Knight. If he chose Oshawott, he would have a Servine by this point. And sure enough, if he chose Osh yeah, if he chose Oshawott, he would have a Servine by this point. And if you chose Tepig, you would have a do what? Shades, get your ass out here. Boom. Mud slap. Since it lowers accuracy, I don't think he knows any. <laughs> Well, I was about to say he doesn't know any fire type moves, but and he has he does have leftovers though. Um question is though, do I have revives? I do. Shades get up. Uh, 
gonna he's gonna heal himself from leftovers. Unfortunately, I do not have leftovers. Let's lower your attack. Mud slap. Have to lower accuracy again. Missed. One more mud slap just to be certain. Jesus Christ! So yeah. And my dog is passing gas. Because, of course he would! Jelly, what are you doing? Santo. I think now would be a good time for me to use Crunch before he does something stupid. Yep. Take down the Pig Knight. Or not. We traded. Well then, that's awkward. Oh, send out the snake. Because he's going to send out Lipard. So yeah, that sucks. No XP then. How the hell are you faster than my snake? Get out of here. You damn cat. You had a citrus berry on you, didn't you? Yep. Ow. If you listen closely, you can hear, hear Shades be like, Hey, wait a minute, that's my trick! There goes Lyperd. Six Simi Sage <laughs> Send out Kong Go to dude Fire Punch Really Seed Bone Not very effective, but in actuality, it was very effective, in fact. Hmm. I'm going to probably have to switch out to Rapture here. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think Kong can take another one of those hits. He's way too slow. <laughs> yeah. Slam. God damn it. I, I really need to get rid of Slam at some point. And there goes Simi Sage. He'd have a Simi Poor by this point. If he had, if you went with Oshawott. And if you went with uh, Tepig, he would have a Simi Seer. Yeah, the only other rival that I can think of that's like that, whose party composition is determined based on your starter, there would be uh, blue, actually, in a fire and leaf green, where he always has a fire, a water, and, and a grass type. That was a fine Pokemon battle. Happy to see you are both growing as trainers. Hmm. This guy. If it isn't the champion, Alder. I'm weak, so I lost. And honestly, it bothers me when you 
We would call it a fine battle despite that. <laughs> Honestly, Sharon, just accept the compliment. And without the stinging remark, I've asked you this before, but what do you plan to do Who, after becoming strong? If I get as strong and become a champion, that'll be the reason for my existence. I want to prove that I'm really living. Hmm. You remind me of Marshall. Of course, having something you want to become is important. But what is even more important and is what you do with your, your newfound power. Anyway, take this. Here you go. HMO3 Surf. I know exactly who we're teaching this to. Take a wild guess who we're teaching this to. If you use the move Surf, you can travel over water. I shall see you again, young trainers. Don't forget about not the needs of the Pokemon at your side. What I do with my power, I don't know oh, that answer yet. First, I want to become I'm a strong trainer, so everyone will acknowledge that power. Okay, calm down, Virgil. Damn. Next time, I will win. Okay, you have fun with that, but first, where is Surf? There you are. Best, best HM in the whole series. Please, alongside Fly. Here you go. Wants to learn Surf. Yes, we're going to teach him Surf. Uh. Let's get rid of a lick. Yeah, if you couldn't guess, I'd much rather have a Pokemon on my party that can learn HMs. Oh no, wait, shit. Yeah, I'd ra much rather have Pokemon that can learn uh, HMs. Actually, wait, while well, I'm here. I need healing. Alright, now that we have Surf, let's go back and get our final party member actually and this final party member is probably my favorite dragon type overall you're gonna see why what am I doing whoop I keep forgetting I have the access to the bike wait I see a shiny give me the trinket Poison jab. And since we now have access to surf, we can now go in the water. Like so. Which means now we can encounter other water types, which includes Baskalin. So, interesting little factoid about Baskalin. But, um, in, if I recall correctly, in white, you are more likely to encounter the blue stripe variant, but. In uh, black, you're more likely to encounter the red stripe variant. Um, 
from what I can tell, there's no real difference between the uh, the blue and uh, red stripe variant. It's purely cosmetic. Which is uh, something you notice a lot in this series. Here we go. Oh, that is weird. Um, hmm. So, I don't know if anyone can see this, but that is not how it's supposed to look. So, let me see. Uh, can I fix that somehow? No, that doesn't do anything. Hold on. Hmm. Well, on the plus side, we can actually see what's going on. We don't need flash. So normally this area is supposed to be dark, but again, this is a uh, emulation issue. You are not who we're looking for. Yeah, this area is supposed to be dark, like completely pitch dark. But you're not it. Come on, I want to complete the fucking reference. Today is not my lucky day. There we go. Now we can complete the reference. <laughs> Mold breaker, seems. So, Axiom can actually have one of two abilities, either Mold Breaker or shed skin. Let's see, let's switch over to Shane so that way we can chip away at his health. Axew is without a doubt my uh, uh, favorite dragon type. I, especially when it uh, evolves into his final form, uh, Haxorus. Smack. All right, I think we're good there. All right, let's yeet out the great ball for good luck. And behold, our new go-to. <laughs> behold, our final party member. And the Pokemon I'm probably going to be using for the rest of the game. <laughs> There's a reason I wanted to catch a Naxio. Behold our new permanent party member. Item take. I'm going to take the lucky egg and give it to this little fellow. Item 
give where is lucky egg and with that let's continue where we're heading so yeah uh, now, uh, Axew is probably not the dragon type people were probably expecting thing me to use. I do wish Shadow should probably resupply on repels and what is my dog doing? Oh, what? <clears throat> Just had to let my dog out, out so he can go piss. Let's see, let's uh, really. <laughs> Turns out my dog did not want to piss this, but he instead wanted to, to jump on my bed. So yeah. And the first thing we do when we get a new Pokemon is immediately test it. Or at least I would if we weren't fighting a Dwebble. Our little dragon is not ready to take on a Dwebble. Semi Sage, by contrast, Mold Breaker, and that's why I gave him the lucky egg. Ultra Ball. God damn it. Oh. Papa Toad. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, in Black 2, you can actually get Axew sooner. Like, as soon as you, uh, get the uh... Dragon Dance. Oh yeah, let's forget Scary Face. Skullipede. Fire Punch. How the hell did...
shall we? You know, something I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting poison types are like. Hmm. Are like weak to ground. There we go. Rustling grass. Audino. Yep, in the rustling grass you will find an Audino. Also, because this is Gen 5, we can actually curb stomp Audino. I think Game Freak should uh, remake the Unova games, if anyone's wondering. The answer would be a hard no. Hard no. Maybe do a follow-up of Black 2 and White 2, like Black and White, White 3, 3, finally. Ah, oh, shit. Do I seriously not have... Oh, right. I'll be back for you. Yeah, something that I always found dumb when it comes to repels is that if your front and center party member is like not stronger than like. <clears throat> oh, now you want to fight. And it's like the, uh, the wild Pokemon, then uh, uh, you will run into them. Behold, my little lizard. What am I doing? Sturdy. There goes Bulldor. And Gur. There goes Gurder. So yeah. Rex grew to level 33, that's good. You conquered a Beelus mountain. What? Alright. Motherfucker. Cub Chew. I ended up with a wild encounter due to a Cub Chew. What a surprise! Seeing you here. You know, I was inspecting Twist Mountain. The two of you yeah, seem a bit more rugged yeah, than the last time I saw you. Hmm. A little bit, anyway. 
Is that so? By the by, you folks see in that team plasma crowd lately? After all the trouble, oh, we Jim, there's, there's Meta, up and had a chat. But, uh, we've got no clue where they, they are. It's like they're hiding under a rock. Well, not much to do, but wait, wait for him to move. Anyhow, this is none of your concern. It's worse like the two of you. You should just enjoy traffic, then with your Pokemon. Twist Mountain's a fine place to explore. You'll have some fun if you just leave this here path. <laughs> Better you just see here yeah, yourself, oh, instead of listening and to, you, to me, Emma. Be seen, you sprouts. Now feel free to train yourself. Come some on mount and for as long as you like. Wait, he owns this mountain? What the fuck? Oh great, so he's a cowboy and an oil baron. <laughs> you know what that means? You know what we have to do? I thought he was going to get us involved and all. Oh, that bug. There again. So I was bracing myself up before I knew it. I'm going in first, maybe I'll be seeing you. Son of a McBitch. Fuck it, blood for the blood gods. Blood for the blood gods. Dick. I say blood for the blood gods. What do you have to say? In where the appearance of Twist Mountain changes. That's what I see. So when I see that, and I feel a sense of relief. Good to hear. So yeah, this is Twist Mountain. Ooh, drink it. Full here. Let's see. So. Yeah, what the fuck? Yoink! Revive! Make up for the one we just used. I see. There's a doctor down there. Doctor! Turn off my pain inhibitors! The funny thing is that I've actually never played Metal Gear Rising. God damn it. Oh, you are not someone I want to fight. Uh, unless <laughs> Haze. <laughs> I will never get over that. That funny little dance Chuck Conroy did when he was playing Black and White with the hiker theme. Honestly, I think out of all the Pokemon playthroughs, I think his um, I think his uh, Emerald and uh, Black and White playthrough are the ones that hold up the best in my in my opinion. Dragon Claw. Deck. I have the cash to spare. An amnesia. <laughs> Call mine, you fool. Bulldor. See ya. Sturdy, goddamn. Hey, Girder. 
Yeah, this is what you have to do when you uh, when you don't have the experience share. This motherfucker really thinks that's gonna save him. Oh no! Right, right, never mind, it did. Here is mouth. Insert foot. Red screw level thirty-four. <clears throat> See if I remember correctly, Axio evolves into Fracture at level thirty-six, and evolves into. Oh, there. And uh, evolves into Haxorus later. <laughs> yeah, this is what you have to do when you uh, don't have the experience share. You got revenge up for nothing. By the way, if I recall correctly, not just our sock and throw based on different styles of uh, martial arts, but also they are based on, if I recall correctly, the red oni and blue oni. If I recall. And considering the two of them, if you look at their stats, they're basically polar opposites in terms of like stats. Uh, sock and throw, which honestly would make a whole lot of sense for the. I know I'm being stubborn with. All right, fine. Let's see, you are a modest nature. So, Mold Breaker basically moves can be used regardless of abilities. So, that's neat. The other ability that Axe you can learn is Shed Skin. Ah, oh, shit, you're a trainer. Bulldore! You know, something I just realized, by the time this part actually goes up, uh, this part's actually, funnily enough, going up on, uh, on my birthday, funnily enough. My birthday's on a Sunday this year, here, funnily enough. So that's pretty neat. Excadrill. Jesus Christ, those dogs are barking. <clears throat> Brand. His name is just Brand. What the hell kind of name is Brand? Back. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes, I'm a stubborn bastard. What did you expect? A stubborn bastard child. Surf.
So just remember Swoobat's a psychic type. There we go. Shades is down level 40, 32. Wants to learn Dig. Hello. Oh yeah, we can ditch Sand too. <laughs> we can ditch Sand too. Because holy shit, that move is too inconsistent. Let's go to level 35. Moonstone. Not like we're going to use it. Oh, now we don't get wild encounters. Oh, now we don't get wild encounters. I fucking jinxed myself. Max Potion. Which I find myself not really using, interestingly enough. Yeah, I don't really use max potions much, if at all. Doctor! Nugget. Chicken nugget. Son of a make bitch. God damn it. <laughs> I got too fucking greedy. X got real. Jesus Christ. There we go. Chiron. Is it Chiron? PP up. Would be some shit if it turns out I never actually put up a max. Oh. Doctor. Funny little dude. Mold breaker. Future sight. Musharna. Side beam. Well, fuck it, I'm being healed anyway after this, so. Hypnosis. <laughs> Damn. I'm a bird asleep. Just like that, my bird's out cold. There goes the bird. Yeah, I'm not flipping that coin. This motherfucker used a hyper potion.
And there we go. I don't really know what to really say here. Aside from, there we go. Once we learn taunt. Nah. Yeah. The team is very healthy, except that has two of my mons are down. Alrighty. Uh, I don't remember the map to this area. That ain't it. Also, apparently I was wrong. He doesn't evolve at level... Level 36 and... Oh, look. What the hell's going on over there? There's some background drama going on. What the hell? Woo bat. Slash ain't too shabby. Bulgore. There goes Bulgore. Rector is level forty seven. Hiker Neil. There we go. Okay, let's get a move on. There has to be an exit to this area some somewhere. Somewhere that doesn't involve, involve me running into everything. Yeah. You know, as confirmation. I didn't have a fucking Max Repel on. I didn't have a Max Repel on the whole time. God damn it. That's why I was running into so many encounters. There's like... I'm a fucking dumbass. Can you tell I don't play Pokemon often? I completely... <laughs> or more accurately, I'm so used to like Black 2 and White 2. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was talking about Sakura earlier. Look at him. <clears throat> Honestly, I think a part of me prefers uh, Sock Overthrow. So, mostly because of the colors. So. Boka! Jesus Christ! Go, my little dude. <laughs> Just sacrifice my little blue monkey to the blood gods, goddamn. Jesus Christ. What the hell's going on down there? See ya. Murder. See so ya, yeah, both my bird and my monkey are down. 
Good shit there. There we go. There goes Girder. Red screw level 37. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. So, uh, in other news, uh, yeah, like I said, I definitely think uh, Game Freak is better off just doing a follow up to Black 2 and White 2 rather than trying to remake Black and White and Black 2 and White 2. Although, it is a question I keep bringing up to, like, like Pokemon fans. There ain't nobody here. If you look for some thing in an empty place like this, you can discover things. Hmm. Oh, hey. Um, why is there ice here? Flash cannon. <laughs> Okay, and I'm back. Oh shit. Yeah, I can't believe I fucking forgot to uh, put up a rappel. This has to be a uh, hello. <laughs> Pretty strong, but you're only strong because your trainers are controlling Pokemon. So, if you want to set Pokemon free, if that's what, what you want, you should start with your own. But taking Pokemon's people by force is not right. Hey, that is not real strength. Ayo. There you are. Found the thing we're looking for. Team Plasma to take in the power to change the world. world and end people's control over Pokemon. Team Plasma is right. That's right. We must use force in order to right the wrongs of the world. So let's gather around our new king, Lord N. Those guys, I don't know what they found, but they go to the extra my hell to gain power and cause us trouble. We're a bothersome bunch. I'm gonna stay here for a while. Want to think a little bit about what the champion asked me. What do I want to do with my power after I get strong? And what do I want? I want to be strong in the first place. Oh, hey. Hello. How was at you? Yeah, so, funny thing about this guy. He actually tells you... So, depending on which Pokemon's actually in the lead, he actually changes the dialogue to whatever Pokemon's in the lead. In this case, because... Uh, I have Axio in the lead. He's mentioning my <laughs> the little dragon type I just caught. <laughs> Careful not to be too strict. The Pokedex is important, but time spent having fun together is also important. Say, I just had a thought. Uh, have you heard of Dragon Spiral Tower? Yes. 
Quite impressive. Okay, give this story a listen. Dragon Spout Tower or is said to be the Innova region's oldest building. Stories say, hey, it's the place where legendary Pokemon came to life, or where they remain in deep slumber. I know it's just past, past Icarus City, but that's all I know about it. That's all, all anyone knows, because no one has ever been inside. My daughter was, has wanted to investigate ate that tower for a long time. Wait, there's something I don't know? That kind of feel I mean, is pure adventure. And I'm not too old for some adventuring. Away I go oh, to have a look at, at Dragon Spiral Tower. Catch you later. Well, there you go. So we're running over the 50 minute mark. I, I just noticed. But yeah, here we are. In Icarus City? Yeah, Icarus City or Icarus Town. <clears throat> so, we're gonna heal up, resupply, and then call it apart. Definitely longer than usual. Well, like, goddamn. So, but we did a lot. We got our final party member. Her, and made our way to a new town. And also kicked Sharon's ass again. Then we used a lot of our arrives. But yeah, so next time on Pokemon White, we're probably going to explore this little city that we just entered. Maybe fight the f final gym, maybe fight the seventh gym leader while we're at it. But they'll have to wait for next time. If you enjoyed this longer than usual part, like goddamn. Uh, Feel free to check out my non-gaming stuff over on Tumblr, and while you're at it, also feel free to like and subscribe, actually, if you want to see me raise his, this little dragon dude, dude right here. So, until then, see you all next time for some more Pokemon White. Bye.